my name is Hannah Pomonte and I am the artist in resident for Spoken Art School. This is Kinsley Grace and we are back for a little bonus episode for you guys. So currently I'm writing an art and sustainability series Ooh. for Spoken Art School. So Kinsley and I thought it'd be fun to show you guys a kids project focused on eco-friendly artwork. So what are we going to be making today, Kins? A birdhouse. Yep, so we are going to be making a birdhouse out of recycled materials. So Kinsley and I are going to be doing it out of an old tomato container <laughs> as well as a pill bottle container. Um, My doggy. Yeah, this is a glucose meat that our dog takes. Um, but you can use anything you have on hand, whether it's an old milk carton, um, pop bottles. This is just what we have. So this is what we're going to use. Are you ready to get started? This project you will need twigs or branches, recycling bins, <laughs> recycled containers, you will need hot glue, glue. And, and then we will get going to the project. So the first step is we are going to completely cover our surface and then we are going to paint our containers with paint. We already went ahead and cut out the holes in our containers with an X-Acto knife. Um, that's something that the adult needs to do. Okay, so now Kinsley and I have finished painting the base of Is our birdhouse. What? So now Kinsley and I are done painting the base of our birdhouses with our acrylic paint. And there's a hole so the birds can get mm -hmm. Another thing is you don't want to use too bright of colors. So we'll be covering ours with branches and twigs and natural materials in order for the birds to be protected from predators. So that is what we're going to be doing next. We are going to be taking the twigs and branches that we forage, just and like little stick birds. stick them on. Yep, and stick them on. So we are going to be constructing our roofs next using our twigs and hot glue. So Kinsley wants to make a green roof Ooh. and I want to make a twig roof. So oh. that is what we'll be doing next. So what you're gonna do is take your individual twigs, put a touch of hot glue, and then hold it there for a few seconds, and then slowly build your roof. So that is what Kinsley and I are gonna do for hers next. And then we're taking our plants, our dried plants, and holding it onto our drop of glue. And then once it dries, we add another branch. Okay, so Kinsley and I finished adding our roof. <laughs> so then the next mm -hmm. thing that we're going to do is we are going to add some decor items mm. to Kinsley's birdhouse. So we will be using dried flowers. Uh, so there it is. So what Kinsley and I are just going to do is hot glue our pressed flowers to Kinsley's birdhouse. Oh, oh. Bird food. Yep. So Kinsley and I are on to our last step of our birdhouses. We want to give our birds and the baby birds some snacks. So when mama and dad need a break, there's already food already there for them. So we're just going to add a little bit of handful of bird food and put it in our birdhouses. Okay, put it in. Nice. a couple Perfect. So now our Bird houses are filled with bird food. Um, so now Kinsley and I just want to show you the end product of our bird houses. This is the one Kinsley made. Whoa. We have some dried flowers, the branches. Here's mine with nice. the twig roof. And then we just want to thank you guys for watching. We interrupt this program for a special news bullet. Okay, so Kinsley and I wanted to talk about our project real quick and why we made the decisions that we did. Um, so first off, we went through the recycling bin and got the container because we wanted to reduce our waste. Isn't that right, Kins? Yeah. Yep, so you can use any container you have on hand. And then we used the natural materials, which we got from the yard waste. Um, and the reason we did that is, do you know why, Kins? Because we didn't have anything else. <laughs> um, not quite. Um, so the reason we did that is so that it would mimic the bird's natural environment. Oh. Um, you don't want to use bright colors because you don't want to draw the bird's predators to their home. 
Um, so that's why we use twigs and branches. Anyways, thanks for watching. We're gonna go hide our bird Bye. nest. Bye. You can put it right here. You wanna set it right there? Do you need some help? You can oh no! Hey. Oh, one second, you gotta wait. Here, let me place it up high for ya. Oops. There we go.